idea of someone having to go to sleep hungry was something that uh, was a little disturbing to me and just didn't sit right with me. Um, and I knew I wanted to find a way to help. And that's kind of when I realized that I could combine my love for baking and helping the community. Um, and so I contacted a couple of homeless shelters, uh, local homeless shelters, asking them if I could bake for the residents there. we would actually bake in their kitchen. And so a lot of times we were in, you know, the same area as, you know, the people we were delivering the des uh, desserts to and we saw our desserts get delivered to. Um, and so we actually talked to a lot of them and uh, I think it was just nice to kind of see the smiles they got on their faces um, and the appreciation they showed. Um, and, you know, this happened about like two years ago, but I remember talking to one of them in the kitchen and they're kind of just talking about how like, such a small thing can go like such a long way and they have been facing some difficult times because obviously they don't necessarily have a permanent house um, and so something like this just made them feel more loved. I think that was one of my motivations for kind of starting Bake for Sake was to hopefully uh, it you know like um, hopefully brighten up someone's life a little more. <laughs>